Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, on behalf of the J9 Collective, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to this special evening of recognition, of celebration, but most importantly, a night when we thank God for our friend seeing another year, but going and coming. It's not every time you see them go in Nigeria, you see them come back. So please, if you're happy for him, please give God a round of applause, I beg you. Well, Steve is an amazing guy. He's a, he's a fantastic friend. He's um, a tremendously hard worker, but someone of um, all inspiring accomplishments. He's someone we are all proud to call friend, and um, we celebrate him not just because it's his birthday, but for his um, laudable achievements as commissioner in Lagos State. Many, many more years of all earth-shaking accomplishments. Thank you, bro. We celebrate one of us. Apart from the fact that it's his birthday, but it's also very germane we celebrate him because of what he has represented as a person and how he has made the club proud. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome A2, the king of M2, Mr. Aki, the prince, Adioya. Thank you, Binga. Good evening, everybody. Um, I was asked to write a speech for this evening, but I declined. I thought it shouldn't be an evening for speeches, and we should just gather together and have a good time celebrating a friend of ours who God has smiled on. Uh, known Steve for quite a while now, more than 15 years, uh, through those turbulent days in the Guardian, through Anna Wala, um, journalism days. And then it's foray into leadership in the newspaper world, and of course into government. And um, I can say that as an individual, I've been very impressed with his conduct. But well, ladies and gentlemen, who is Steve? I already woke up in the morning. We were all in my house, about like 12 of us. Percy was there, Ayo Anima Shan was there, Queen Gardenica. And I woke, everybody was crashing in my house. So I have this little office. So I go there every morning to go and check emails and go on my computer and everything. And then I saw Steve just sleeping under my 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 desk in my office. I'm like, ah, Steve, kill Jelly. Like, I'm like, why? And I said, you are in the living room. There's a couch in the living room. I said, we're going to get in the room. I said, we're going to get in the living room. I said, we're going to get in the living room. So, to go and check the evidence and I went to the living room. And I saw when Gadeika was putting it in gears. Oh, 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 oh. I'm like, ah, no, play, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Percy could sleep well. Percy was sleeping in the living room as well. He was like, so I just, want to, I just want to finish that story. And I also want to say, Steve has been my friend for... Steve was also was the first person to write a, a review of my film, King of My Country, which was 20, 22 years ago now. And I think he was working at Guardian. And Guardian has started going online. I think that was the early days of anything online. And then I used to go on the internet a lot and I saw a nice review of my film, a real review of my film. And I saw the name Steve Ionide. And I saw, I don't know if we didn't have numbers there, but I, I think he had an email. And then I sent an email to him. I said, Thank you for the review. And he said, Oh, like it, maybe he wasn't expecting me to, 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 to send him an email. And he said, anytime you're in Nigeria, please let me know so I can do a full interview for you. And then, lo and behold, the next time I was in Nigeria, I called him, I went to Guardian, and I also saw, that was the day I met uh, Mr. Jaman and Nicola is somewhere here. And uh, I went to the Guardian, he did a full interview. We, we went to the kiosk to drink seven up and meat pie. We started talking about different different things, 
and then we became friends from that day on, and still my friend till today. So I want to say congratulations to you on your, are we allowed to say age, or we're not saying age? On your plus one. In 70, we all know. <laughs> <laughs> on your birthday, and uh, many, many more years, and many more joyful years with your family and your wife, and your children, because I know that's very, very important to him. So, happy birthday, Steve. My name is Mojit Gavio, and um, Steve and others, and those of us who are ex-punchers, they uh, call me MJ. But we are here today to celebrate our brother, uh, Steve Ayoide. We call him Elenio. And um, he's a wonderful fellow. I recall uh, 2003, uh, sometimes around September, uh, we were in punch, and um, I think it was a uh, deputy editor then. We were in the office till about, um, the things happen in punch. Fortunately or unfortunately, what happened in September 2003, September 21st, happened today. Um, it's not a good bad present for my brother, but then we have to talk about it. You'll be in punch, you'll be walking, sweating it out. Eight o'clock, I got a call um, from the then general manager, Mr. Imiga Ule. Azu was the editor. I was the business editor. Uh, Mojit, uh, chairman, has asked you to resign. Hello. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really delighted to uh, be called to speak about Steve Ayurveda. You get the point in your life when you get an invitation to speak about about people genuinely. And a lot of time, you either lie or sort of remain you know, diplomatic about it. And you sort of tick the boxes and say very good things. It, it's very joyful. And, and I say this almost from an egocentric, selfish point of view. But you can actually go out to say, this person is my friend. And, um, and it's a friend you qualify because you're confident of that when checked, the friendliness and the agape will stand time. There are people who you say they're my friend, so skip it. Don't bother. You know, he's, he's one of us. Just ignore him. But Steve is one of those people that when you say he's my friend, I say, look, he's my friend. Check him out. He'll be fine. Whatever he does. I got to know Steve, and I'm happy you told that story. Because I got to know Steve to the review of your film. I read it online. I was in England. And I, and I read and I thought, who's this chap? He picked this up and he wrote a beautiful story. And I contacted him and, and he wrote, thank you, doctor. I'll just do my job. And we left it there. The next time I saw him, it was a year later when a flamboyant publisher contacted me to be a consultant of a publication in Nigeria. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard 
I messed him like a year ago. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can't remember why I messed him, but you know Steve very well. You know Steve is a good boy. Steve, he has a way of asking you one question like 20 times, hoping to get 20 answers so they can catch you at the end of the day. I don't said that. You can really see people that are going to government come back and still retain their friends. Most of them are really busy, sincerely. But this annoying Steve kept his friend from the one till he finished his term. Not just that. You know, when you are in the uh, teaching cabinet, you probably have to stay late. And this annoying Steve will punish his core friends <laughs> To stay with him because he still has that uh, journalism blood in him. You know, when you guys were younger journalists, you print overnight, you don't sleep early. Come on, share one You don't sleep early till four. Still has this annoying no, idea, habit of keeping his friends, his core friends, till four a.m. I'm not part of them, so I always leave them. I get reports that two a.m. Um, I think they were just. Um, <laughs> Moving on to some other questions. But it's a very busy man being a commissioner of tourism. I know this is how you promote tourism. Lagos is a social place. Lagos is, a is famous for its nightlife. And Steve brought this back. He actually made Freedom Park buzz. And um, with him as commissioner, I mean, we've had, I served with two commissioners at Freedom Park. Mr. Holloway, who was Nishi, the first commissioner, and very, very briefly with um, Mr. Flying Coca. I will say no more about that aspect. But you were, sir, um, one of the best um, examples for us um, promoting tourism within this space. You haven't finished your work at Freedom Park yet, you know that. I mean, we still have plenty of work to do together. So we'll look up to, uh, we'll hold you to that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please, Mr. Simeri Day, one of the best men um, in tourism and for the um, development of a social, a social life after 2 p.m. After 3 p.m. <laughs> so the rest of you here and said that right about classical music that nobody was doing at that point, not even who are training there. Classical music. Steve, thank you for that. You already saved my career to be gone, I was told. I like to put on that. If you cannot write about classical music, just pack your bag and yeah. I was always too drunk to, to even understand that. <laughs> you know, I remember the day someone said it's Beethoven. And Ladibu wanted to slap him. <laughs> Second point was when Nollywood was starting. Uh, well, Nollywood of the Nollywood. The 1992 Nollywood. And we needed interviews. The but because the, the atmosphere was so acidic for the kind of production that was coming up, we thought the best way was to start to debrief those who were producing those films instead of just condemning them. I still volunteered to be the pivot of that. I know so many other things came around that. Still, should I say? <laughs> I should not. But Steve ensured that he interviewed. So many of those people that some of them who eventually became star were actually through his pain. As an environment, we are one that still do be with the information on the stage. But still was uh, a risk was running away, was not interested in coming to our stage to the commissioner. As a colleague, I can I can attest to the integrity. Steve is a man that with him can go to sleep. Absolutely. And when 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 the governor removed him, when he was deployed to the Ministry of Tourism and uh, Culture. <coughs> well, we are not too happy. And for the record, here, yeah, let me tell you for the record that the government only said that was his biggest mistake in government. Get it, get it, get it. He said that was a good mistake for deploying Steve from information to the policy. 
So anytime I see Steve hang out with the same friends that I used to stay with him before he became a commissioner, one day I told him and I said, I'm very impressed because some of us, some people make mistakes when they get to government, they try to get new friends and they don't hang out with their friends. But I, I was I, I used to see the same set of friends that I used to see with Steve. And but what I like about him is loyalty to his friends. I want to congratulate him. I know that the greatest is behind. Um, this is just um, the commissionership is a step to another thing that I'm sure and I know that will happen. Congratulations. For me, it's still bad, you know, because what they're going to do, you know. But you know, today, and you can see, today he kept us here. And you know, we were all waiting. And I had to send him a text. I said, you know, you're very bad behavior. You know, you kept us and, you know, you're not here by this time. But really, that is how we throw banter. For me, and really, I, I will agree that I'm one of his products because we've met, I mean, I've been going to two decades now. And there's no way I can tell my story and how far I have come without mentioning Steve and no look with any other. Because I think I met them at about the same time. And after them, I met and all of that. Um, um, you know, the thing is, yes, we started with a journalist artist relationship, and from there, it graduated to you know, friends, and then we became family because we're pretty much family now. Um, and you could tell yourself the truth. Um, then that means we pay already the lane. For me, Steve is one of the most brilliant mind in the world. Um, and I think we need to give it to him. I'm always saying to him that, ah. And I think it's that Okolo that has gotten him thus far because um Otoniki Colombe did become Otoniki why who sustain any bit coming in the Maria at any year. I still want to um a few months no like a year ago or so. You know, like Taroso uh, Lekono, okay, I think he mentioned it. When you're successful, because a lot of people will come around you, and I want to see Matele, I see new people. And so at times, I call it, okay, what if you didn't share? What if you didn't share? What am I so then? I was even in government, I was already in my push, could they stop? Think because of that, you know, say, eh, the Bama Sak, we get Sak, we know me. We will always look out for his friends. Um, thank you very much for being a brother, and thank you very much for being uh, a true, a true friend. I doubt that there is anybody here, Larry and Waore, even though they got to lose opposition, no. Um, <laughs> I don't think there is anybody who really didn't benefit. And I want to benefit now. Continue to be you. Uh, along with one of you. Um, First Lady, uh, congratulations. Oh. From here, I mean, from, from eye to eye, I've got a lot. Um, so, here I am. Come here, come here. Come here. Is your wife here? No, go and sit down, go and sit down, go and sit down. His wife is here, his spirit, his spirit. Peru police wife is here, his spirit. Like my wife, they're having a spiritual something. Aristos man, please get ready, the celebrant must dance. Photographers, are you okay? Oh, madam, please look here, look here. So please hold the cake, madam. Support him like you have always done. 
No, just hold it within the spirit. When I say J9, you cut you cut it with collective. Are you ready? Look here. One more question. I want you to be. Are you ready? Madam, please put your hand. J9! Otherwise, can we have madams? The wives of J9. Let's have you. One more. Captain. Captain. Sorry. And it's also a good governance club. It's not that too social. It's not religious. Too religious. It's not too political. It's a good governance club uh, formed in 2012. Uh, because we were interested in the progress of the country uh, and I've been a member you know all along so I like the fact that uh, those that I call my friends um, everybody knows everybody's wives you know um, this is beautiful uh, this is thoughtful of them uh, and I really appreciate it uh, there are other members uh, other friends that were invited to join you know members of JNIC um, my bosses, my former colleagues in the media um, have hosted the people from the Ministry of Tourism and Agriculture earlier in the day. Um, for me, there's a sense of you know being appreciated, uh, being loved. Um, it, it is to celebrate one after four years uh, of service to one state, but then it happens that it falls on my birthday, you know, which is May, you know, the ninth. So I feel very happy. I'm not that very celebratory especially when it comes to birthdays uh, but I like the fact that this is among friends uh, people that I'm really very comfortable with uh, people that can watch your back uh, people that you knew before you became anything people that you always feel comfortable to sit down with to go to their homes uh, that you won't have any stress you know eating drinking dining with them so this is good for me um, and of course it reflects the fact that uh, on a Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, uh, this is how Lagos rolls. You know, there's a bit of what one has been able to do and contribute to the state that has been reflected in what we are having today. So I feel very proud. I, I mean, I, I write about people. I tell people stories. But when people now appear to be telling your own stories, you know, uh, you feel a bit um, shy and emotional. But, you know, we're thankful. Um, I said on my uh, social media pages that if I had 10,000 tongues, uh, there wouldn't be enough to uh, express my gratitude to my maker. You know, so I mean, for me, it's all about gratitude. It's all about being happy. It's all about you know a sense of camaraderie that you are among friends who appreciate you. What's next for Mr. Steve? Are you in the politics, rest, or perhaps? Oh, there's no rest anywhere. Um, back to the office uh, as a consultant uh, there are a number of projects on the ground uh, and you know how it works you really can't say no uh, when you are called to come and serve you know but then you are also busy you're doing your things um, let's just uh, allow God to take on through and give us the direction to take you know we're busy we'll always be ready to serve